What's up, YouTube? It's the J.A.Y. Man here. Back doing beer review. Straight to you. And I'm going to be doing a revisit. Because anybody that watches my channel, all 300 and something of you, I'm working on that. No, but I'm, I'm very grateful just that, you know, have that, you know, that's, that's really cool. I'm really glad that people watch and people comment. Very grateful for that. Very grateful to you guys. Um, I've been doing these revisits on the light beers. Um, and I've really only got two revisits to do. Miller Light was one of them. And Milwaukee's Best Light is another one. Because I've done, you know, I've done revisited the Michelob Ultra, the Natty Light, the Bud Light, the Bush Light, the Coors Light, the Keystone Light. So, Got Miller and Milwaukee's best light to go. Plus, I'm still on the lookout for... I really want to do Lone Star Light. I can't ever seem to find that. The only place that I've ever found that out was on the other side of town in this Murphy's one time. And then I didn't get it. And then when I went back there, it wasn't there. So, I'm really wanting to do Lone Star Light. Because I did review Lone Star Beer like seven years ago when I first started my channel. Um seven or almost eight years ago uh, when this was all very new to me which sometimes still feels new to me um, I still feel like there's a lot more educated uh, people on YouTube when they do beer reviews I mean I know it's all up to our opinions but as far as knowing everything about you know the brewing processes and you know everything that goes into it there's a lot more educated people than me but that out of the way let's go ahead and get the Miller Lot poured up and then we'll discuss it and we'll kind of chat about it shall we so like damn Jay why man we're already almost three minutes in and you won't shut the hell up and pour the beer well I'm trying I just cut my fingernails too. And that hurts like hell. Let's get it poured up. I'm gonna do a little bit of a hard pour. I mean, not hard, but just kind of. Oh, God, I'm getting that all over my desk. Oh, I can't stand a mess. It's alright. It's all, it's all in good fun. Good thing I got a napkin down here. Um, let's get it poured up. From other people that I've watched their beer reviews, or just other people in general that I've known in person, a lot of people seem to love Miller Lite, um, including me. A lot of people say that it's probably one of the best light beers that there are, um, that there is. That there are that there is um, because I've heard a lot of people say that they feel like Miller life has a fuller flavor than other light beers that seem a little bland or a little watered down um, so most people that I know that say don't even like light beer will usually pick Miller Lite, because I guess it's like the one that they can stand to drink. Like, being like it's the best of the bunch or something. I don't know. That's just kind of what data I've kind of collected from people. Um, you know, got the head going there. Head's dissipating pretty quickly. Um, it might leave a little lacing on the glass. Who knows? Um, your typical light beer, um, you know, it's see-through, 
it's see-through. Um, straw, yellow, golden in appearance. Um, Miller Lite. Um, it went national in uh, 1975. Made by the Miller Brewing Company. Um, also now known as Molson Gores from the merger of Miller and Gores. Um, it says Miller out of Wisconsin, U.S. of A. Um, it's won a lot of awards. It's won a lot of years um, with gold medals, silver medals, and bronze um, at the World Beer Cup. It's World Beer Cup winning beer. Yay. It must be good. Not according to Beer Advocate, who gives it a score of 54, which they consider to be awful. They don't like shit. Um, I'm sure they like something. I don't know. Um, ABV, 4.2. Says it on the can. It even says on the can that Miller, inside is a fine Pilsner beer, brewed with the highest quality ingredients. We use choice hops from the Pacific Northwest, as well as noble says hops. I don't know how to say that. And deliver more taste, aroma, and color with only 96 calories per 12 ounce. But we got the 24 ounce can. Um, 24 ounce can, so we got to double that. So we almost we almost 200 calories in, but it's all good. Jay, why man ain't watching his weight? That ship done sailed a long time ago. Uh, and it does say a fine Pilsner beer. Always kind of said that on the logo. Um, even has the ingredients on the can: uh, water, barley malt, corn syrup, dextrose, yeast, hops, and hop extract. And they say don't let the corn syrup um, get you mixed up with high fructose corn syrup. Yeah, okay. So we got some pretty cool stuff on the can. They put a lot of good information on the Miller Lite can. I will, I will give them that. That's not bad. Um... I got that can for about three bucks or so, three and some change. That ain't bad. Um, Miller Lite is a little bit pricier by the 12 pack and the 18 pack and all that than, say, your Econos, such as Milwaukee's Best, you know, Keystone, Natty, all those. Bush. My first review I did of this, which was a long, long time ago, I can't remember how many years. Um, Maybe six, seven years ago, I gave it four stars, four out of five, which is pretty good. Because the only other light beers I've given four so far, well, with revisits, has been uh, Keystone and uh, Natty. And then later on, I did a second review, but it really wasn't a revisit too graded it was more um it's whenever they had the little steiny bottles um i think it's like the ones from the 70s i bought a six pack of those and just kind of did a little video on talking about drinking it out of the steiny bottle which was pretty damn cool i haven't seen those in a while so with that being said that's really that's really all i got to say about it you know and it's a revisit Um, very, you know, sweet, sweet smell, your typical lager, light lager smell. Um, not overly powerful. Don't seem any more powerful than anything else. Um, been battling the allergies though, what seems like for weeks. So my, my smell might be a little bit off. But I do think that it's where it needs to be as far as smell. All right, cheers, everybody. Let's get into it. I'm thirsty. The J A Y man is parched. 
he must consume beverage. Because I've been sitting here talking this whole time. I'm like, man, I need to hurry up. I'm thirsty. It does a body good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now we're getting somewhere. Hmm. Still trying to dive in. And like I said, I really want to kind of knock out that last revisit with the Milwaukee's Best Light. Seeing how this is the big brother, and that's the little brother, you know, and Miller. And I remember I liked Milwaukee's Best Light, too. I want to say I gave it like three, three and a half stars, something like that. It was a good one, too. But I'm a light beer, dude. I love light beer. Um... I don't really feel like Miller Life, uh, Miller Life, I'm thinking of High Life, Miller Light really tastes, say, any fuller than, say, a Coors or a Keystone. It's a lot fuller than Bush, but I feel like Natty Light is fuller than this. It's good. It's flavorful for a light beer, I think. I know that always says hops, but you know, hops is pretty uh, uh, faint and absent in the taste. It's more of just that sweet lager, that sweet barley malt type taste that comes with a light beer. I don't know what else to say. It's been so long since I've had a Miller Lite. I haven't had one in a long time. So I just kind of wanted to revisit it, taste it, see if it still holds up to the four stars, which I believe it does. It's good. I just, I don't know. The, the, the price, I just feel like I'm always going to grab for the Natty or the Keystone. Trying to save money. And, but still getting a good product. Hmm. Yeah, but I'm going to keep it at four. I'm not going to give it any more, but I'm not going to bump it down. So I'm going to keep it at four. It's a good one. Um, I know they got the, the cans, like the old school cans, like the old school kind of logo. Although I kind of miss the Miller Lite, the blue, the blue ones, like the the blue decor they used to have on the can from like the early 2000s. I kind of miss, I kind of miss that uh, look. I wish they'd kind of come back with that. That'd be really cool if they would do that. But yeah, four, four stars. It's good, it holds up, it's real tasty. It's not bland. I did say when I revisited Bush that it's a little bland. Um, and it is. But it's still good. It's good to me. Um, but I don't feel like this is any fuller than a Coors. A Coors Light. Or a Natty. Or a Keystone. They're all real similar. Um... I feel like Michelob Ultra is extremely bland, too. Like, I, I would take this over Michelob Ultra any day of the week. I just would. Four out of five. I'm rocking out of here. I ain't got nothing else to say. Almost rocking 15 minutes. So, that's all I got to say, y'all. Y'all tell me what you think about uh, Miller Lite. Tell me if you like it. Tell me, uh, tell me something. Shit. Whatever. I don't know. I'm rocking out of here. Hit that like. Hit the subscribe. 
If you're not already subscribed, I'm rocking out of here. Peace out.